Okay. I, I can first. Uh, final topic here. Since uh, we're here in Texas, I want to ask you about the border. Would you call the border secure? I think that there is no question that we have to do what the president and I asked Congress to do. Is the first request we made pass a bill mm -hmm. to create a pathway to citizenship. The border is secure, but we also have a broken immigration system, in particular over the last four years before we came in, and it needs to be fixed. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Yeah, and Sandra, bear with me. We just got these numbers moments ago, but uh, it, it's a jaw dropper to say the least. So to set the stage here, let me just explain what these numbers mean. ICE has something called a non-detained docket. Essentially what that is, is it means migrants who were encountered by DHS but are no longer in federal custody. So who's on this non-detained docket? It's illegal immigrants who were caught and released at the border, released with the court date years away. They're in immigration proceedings combined with illegal immigrants who have already been ordered, deported from the country by a judge, but are still here roaming the country. On ICE's non-detained docket, they're currently tracking 425,000 uh, non-citizens who have been convicted of a crime. Of that number, over 13,000 non-citizens have convictions for homicide and are on the non-detained docket, meaning they're roaming the country right now. The challenge that we have as an administration is we gotta let people know who brung it to them. <laughs> That's our challenge. On top of that, there are another 15,811 non-citizens convicted of sexual assault who are roaming the country right now on ICE's non-detained docket. It doesn't stop there. Those are convictions. The ICE director also says there are currently just under 1,900 non-citizens on the non-detained docket who have pending homicide charges who are roaming the country. <sighs> The jaw dropper here too, guys, is all these numbers we just rattled off, they don't even account for the nearly 2 million gotaways who have crossed our border under the Biden administration. Those almost 2 million gotaways, they were never encountered by DHS. They snuck in, they were never caught by Border Patrol, they were never encountered by ICE. There's no record of them, so they have nothing to do with the numbers I just rattled off to you. These are just the numbers of people that ICE has already encountered, that Border Patrol has encountered, that DHS knows who they are. Corrupt! None shall interfere. Do as you please. They want everybody to come in. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Yes, you killed nine people, but we think you're going to be much better now. That's what I believe. Come on down.